Well, it's fun. A lot from the other side. Hold up. Hello, my geeky guys and gals. Welcome back to the final video of Silent Who. I'm gonna be alone, host my geek. Now, regardless of how long this is gonna take, I intend to get this through to the very end. So, regardless of how long it's gonna be, I'm gonna do this. Now, I've already forgotten which way which I need to go, and I'm blowing out the microphone, so I do apologize about that. Door is in loot. Where did everybody go? We needed to get the other arm, didn't we, for that mannequin? I've already fucking forgotten. Damn, two brain cells. Yeah, this is the right area. But how would we get that arm though? Nope, that's not the right one. We need to get that other arm to be able to unlock something somewhere. I just can't remember where. Oh, okay! Fucking key! Can't, can't even remember that I picked up a key. Oh well, never mind. The bodies at the bottom aren't their clothes. Move to the left open, move on northeast open, blow and more to the right open. The bodies above aren't there open. What the fuck? Okay, that's convoluted. I'm gonna get this one written down again now. I wonder if that's might be the wall on the other side. Okay. Right, so I'm guessing it's this side, so let's I've got it all written down now. First thing we're gonna do is close them all off. So it's a 4x2 grid or 2x4 grid, so it says the bodies at the bottom aren't there. Close. So that's got a body in, that one doesn't. That one does and that one does. Right, okay. So we're gonna close that one. Move to the left open. Right, okay, let's close these two as well to be sure. So that one's open, that's left. Move on northeast, so north we go up. East there, I'm guessing. So opens that one. Below and more to the right. Open. So I guess in this one then, the bodies aren't there open. The bodies above aren't there open. That one's got a body in. That one's got a body in. So that one. Cool. Okay. Fucking doing it, that was weird. I even I completely forgot about the key and now I am already 20 minutes into the recording, so yeah, that was fun. Alright. See whereabouts we get transmer McFlotted to now. Wait a minute, this is different. Oh, this is so cool. Rack's broken. Okay. Oh, hello. Am I even going in the right way? How, how, what, why, where, which floor am I on? I'm on the other side of that place where I found the key. Maybe that's the key that I found there that I should have fucking realised. Hello. That's my number one fan. Uh, yeah. I don't think I want to be going down there. Something tells me not so fun's down there. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. That's where I got the key, um, the baby thing from with a PlayStation puzzle. Alright, cool. At least we're getting somewhere. Kind of, maybe. Shut up. I know there's nothing in here. You don't scare me. Give me a key? Ooh, okay. Different than saying, it's broken and it's stuck. I can't open it. Oh, fuck off. Why am I back there? Okay, don't do this to moi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. 
Okay, hi, handsome devil. A weird ass murderer. Oh, got another arm. Three. Cool. Two doors that I need to have a key for, potentially. Now, if any little wormy things start crawling out from anywhere and turns that whole mirror place black, that's definitely a scene from Silent Hill 3. Cool. So I got the other mannequin's arm. Can I get back down without having to reconfobulate all the door things? Probably not. So can I get back to the Kaloon floor with... I don't think so. Let's close that. This should now lead me. It does indeed bleed. Kill. So let me go in here. Put a arm on. Right hand is now in place. Looks like nothing has changed. Uh huh. The mannequin is complete. It is complete. Something, something dark side. Something, something complete. Okay. Nothing else in there. Alright, okay. Still can't open that or that. Yeah, you got nothing else news to say, so. Turn the back out, mutinks. Let's try this one. I'm getting a fair good idea now about how it works. The doors teleport you to different areas. And they're actually set, they don't randomize you to different places. You gotta remember which ones are which. You gotta also remember which ones are the key ones. Oh, okay. That opened you. Was the hand in this position? No, I do remember. Hi, hello. Uh, something down that trapdoor. What the fuck? Are we playing lights out? Um, I'm guessing we've got to get them all green. Or maybe just have them all turned on. Let's see if I can get them all turned on. Nope, that was my mouse. Okay. It wouldn't be a Silent Hill puzzle without it saying, ooh, something's clicked or something's moved or something, something, dark side something, without you actually having the puzzle complete. So this is wrong. So my next guess is I've got to get only the green lights lit. Still not clunked something. Hey, do I turn something else on through then? I'm not pressing any more buttons just in case. No, it's still the same. I th the fan stopped. I wonder if we can actually go through past the fan now. remember how to do that. I think I actually do remember. Oh, this this one. Yes. 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 Please don't do that. Yes, I took the key. Oh, I fucking took a key? Oh, right, okay. I thought it was just that I could walk through it, but apparently not. So there was two doors that I remember going through that said, nah, you need a key for this sign of gym. So now I've got to figure out which one of those it is. Stop it. I fucking told you, I know there's nothing here. Okay, this is one door, and the key is hardly turning. Doesn't give me, and I can't pull it out either. Now it's completely stuck. Damn, the key's broken. Oopsie. Oh, that's a save point. Okay. 
I got broken. To... Okay, this is not how I remember leaving Kansas. Oh, okay. Yep. What? I hope it's the right key. Well, well it's fun. A lot from the other side. Hold up. Shut up. What the fuck did I just experience? That was nuts. Okay, I know that that's not the right door that goes to the fan room. Shut up. The key fits. Oh, here we go. And we're loading. We're getting somewhere now, my geeky guys and gals. Hopefully, this is towards the end. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's a parking lot. I want to go down just yet. I see a note. I see a door. It's a paper. Uh, free Tibet. No, sorry. Freak Storm hit Silent Hill. Hoop -doop 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 -doop. Okay, this is the cleanest room I've actually seen so far in here. I don't mind actually taking the shower, but if it is a shower, why would there be a car downstairs? That don't bode well. Well, at least we're here. We can find lots. Are you talking about this? Ah, it's the door. I thought it was the valve. Okie dokies. Yeah, this is gross. How? How? Hold on. Wait. That does not make sense. Okay. We're drowning. No. No. Can't do it any longer. What the hell? Oh. Okay. I was just thinking, how in the world Fuck. did the car get inside there when you're in that little tiny little narrow door? There was no. Garage door, and that's blood. That is definitely blood. It's higher than it was before. I'm not seeing that any of these doors seem to work. Well, we all know it's his own sight. Kosis. I'll just stay. Oh, he's lost his mind. He has so lost his mind now. This is him giving up. It's like, nope, I'm not going to do it anymore. Screw this shit. I'm going home. That is the end. Oh, right, okay. So, that's it. He just lost his mind. Unless there's like an alternative ending, to me that just looks like he just lost his mind there. If, if I just gave up and just say, right, no, screw it. I'm done. The white party has fucked me up. And I've lost everything, so no, screw it. And I must admit, I've been in situations like that myself, but I was able to... Yeah. Squeeze on me. I was able to fight through, and here I am today. So I would probably imagine that in the real world, in back in the normal world, he's probably now in a vegetative state because he, in his mind, this is what he's now seen. He's just in this um, freaking blood hospital thing. That is kind of sad. But if you actually go through the entire plotline of Silent Hill 2, it's got a similar premise. The main protagonist in there wasn't really actually going through Silent Hill, it was all in his mind. I'm not going to tell you too much detail about that if you've not played Silent Hill, because if you've not played it, where the hell have you been? You need to stop watching this video now and go play Silent Hill 2. But, that is what I'm seeing here right now with this story. It, 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 
He had this drug trip because of the white Claudia that Kaufman gave him, and it was an experimental dosage. And so this completely fucks his mind up, and that might also explain why there was no monsters either, because he didn't feel threatened, he just felt lost. But I just had a quick look up on walkthroughs and no, no one's ever saying that the, the game's got multiple endings, so that's it. That's Silent Home Alchemila. Over and done with my geeky guys and guys. After 10 episodes, the mod's been way much more longer than I thought it would. But that was bonkers good. It really was like a reimagining of Silent Hill, and I loved it. The map layouts was brilliant, there was true to faith, all the way down to the layout of everything. Now, obviously, when it comes to the Silent Hill town itself, they couldn't recreate everything, as I doubt they doubt had all the resources for it, but it was still close enough to what Silent Hill was back in the original PS1 days, and I loved it. Still got its few little niggles and piggles here and there. It's using obviously the Source engine, so it's using the uh, physics engine from Source, so not everything would work out properly. And it had some of the sound effects from the Source as well, so kind of, yeah, messed it all up from there. So I can't give it 100% glowing rating, but still, for what it is, it is really good. And I am disappointed that there are no monsters, but now that I've played through the story, it does actually kind of make sense. It would have been a lot better if there was a few little jump scares here and there. At least something to make him know that he's going mad. It's just not going through a hospital, going through these transportation doors and just ending up somewhere else. Or going into that um, worm room, you know, the big massive dildo tentacle thing sticking out of the ground, poisoning you. I would have liked to at least have some kind of jump scare here and there to make it more horror theme but other than that that was pretty darn cool and it is worth recommending like I've done with the entire series I have put links in the description below where you can get it you do need si um, Silent Hill you do need Half-Life 2 because you need the um, source files for that but Alchemy itself is free because it's a mod but other than that my geeky guys and guys that is it I'm gonna move on to my next series now on YouTube to get all that finished off get as many a series as I can finished off and then after that I will be doing mostly live streams video games that I want to play that I can't do on Twitch I'll still do on YouTube so don't don't worry YouTube for me is not fully dead it, I'm just gonna transition it more into an archival service and any games that I can't play on Twitch they'll shut up phone they'll still go up on YouTube so let's still look out for that in the meantime, my geeky guys and girls, I am going to chill out, peace out, and love you all for the time being, because for me, it's been far too long recording. I'm seeing a ticker going up as I do this. So, do all that good YouTube stuff. Like if you like it, dislike if you don't. If you don't, put a comment down below and let me know what's on your mind. Don't forget, every Saturday we'll be live streaming. Follow me on Twitter to know when those live streams are going to start, because that's when I announce it. And I'll see you in the next video. So, bye-bye. For now. I think that's one of the best outros I've done for a long time. No scripts, no nothing. Just straight there, done, bump, and out.